Good morning. It's a Monday morning and nice to be with you today on Clock in the Gallop. We've got uh, MX on the line from Grebecha uh, down in Nelson Mandela Bay country. The weather looks good uh, behind him and around him. He's in his uh, Uber this morning, about to start his daily duties. And uh, a very good morning to you, MX. Nice for you to join us again on a Monday morning. And uh, we're still getting over the shock defeat of Charles Dickens. We were just talking about it before we started recording. Um, the punters are licking their wounds today. Yeah, good morning, good morning, Nico. Yeah, that's that's racing, Nico. Uh, I don't think I don't think there's any horse that can't get beat. I don't think so. All horses can 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 get beat at any time. So that I don't think that makes Charles Dickens a not a good host. I still believe Charles Dickens is still a very very good host to look out for in South Africa. So, yeah, people must know that everyone can get beat at any time. Mm, mm. Yeah, I think, uh, I think you're right about that. I mean, Alistair Cohen tweeted uh, that exact same point yesterday, saying that every oh. champion has been beaten at some stage or other. And there's no doubt Charles Dickens is a champion. We all wanted him to win. The racing purists um, are, are um, certainly, their egos are dented today because they expected him to win. But... He will come back and fight another day. It just wasn't to be on Saturday. And uh, the the uh, elements conspired to beat him, if I can put it that way. Every was Nico will get beat. Uh, I, do, I only follow a lot of uh, SA racing. I believe uh, once upon a time, MK Sprite was a machine, winning so many future races, but he, he got beat. So like people mm. must expect anything in horse racing that... Like, yeah, there is no pain. <laughs> no, no certainty. Okay, let's talk about today's racing. We've got eight races to get through. They're on the poly track today. As we mentioned, the weather in Quebec is good, so I don't think there's any chance that uh, we're not going to get through that meeting today. So let's go straight to our first race, where number one is the only scratching on the card. Lily of Orange is out. And uh, the favorite here is Minstrel. Well, in fact, the favorite is Executor, 13 to 10. Minstrel Gallery been backed into 16 and a half to 10. When I looked at the card uh, last night, after I did the conversation with Nino, I preferred Minstrel Gallery to Executor. What do you feel? Yes, Nico. Yes, Nico. That's true. Uh, I already took my bets yesterday as I took uh, Mr. Karen to win the race. There was a bit value than today because Executor was the favorite when I took that bet. So now I see Mr. Karen is a favorite. So... I think I contributed to that was to go down <laughs> because I took Mr. Carroll to pitch a uh, executor and then number two, that is a uh, Saint Patrick's Day and then number five, that is a uh, Ray Flame, Ray Ray Flame. Uh, Ray Flambe, yeah, number five. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So okay. that's eleven, four, eleven, two, five. But I think as for number four, that's my banker. As well, uh, for my pie pot, I've already took my pie pot. People will see more on my tips on the. On oh, yeah, the I saw you were up pretty early. You must have been up uh, early this morning doing because yeah. all your tips are loaded on the tab app already, which is great. Um, I see you've loaded a number of bets on there, and I see that your percentage isn't too bad. You've crept up since uh, I last looked, so you must have been winning a few things. Yes, Nico. Today, today I mean business, Nico. Today I think it, it should be a good day for me. Okay. I mean so you're confident today, MX. You're confident with your selections today. I, I am. I am okay. high confidence, Nico. Very, okay. very high. So we're starting off with a good win bet on number four, Minstrel Gallery, in the first yeah. race, according to MX. That's the start of the buy part. Let's go to the start of the PA today. Race two is a maiden over sixteen hundred meters. And uh, no real changes to report over here in terms of anything important. There's the betting. Federal Reserve has been backed to favorite, to outright favorite, but closely tracked by Foot Soldier and Vuvuzela Umlilo. What did you think? Yes, Nico, uh, in this race, I've got only three horses. Those three that you're talking about, I think it only depends on the day what happens. So I choose number five to win the race, followed by number four. Sorry, followed by number six, Vuzela Umlilo, and then number four, Full Soldier, and then number seven, the last pen. So I surely believe that would be the quoted for today. 
five, six, four, seven in the race five, two. Five, six, four, and seven are the numbers for MX in race two. He likes Federal Reserve, the horse that is being backed there in the second race. Okay, let's track to the third race. Start of the pick six at quarter past two. It's a novice plate and it's run over a thousand meters. And uh, there are no changes in the third race, MX. Um, looking at the betting, the money's coming for this horse, Modern Magician. It's now into 9 to 10. It was as big as 12 to 10 yesterday, but 9 to 10 this morning. 33 to 10 coastal path, 4 to 1 stay the course. What did you feel? Uh, Nico, uh, I met... Uh... I met uh, Modern Magician, my banker, for the day, my best bet for the day, because of what I seen last time. He was finished like a cracker. Mm. So I was, very, I was very impressed last time. I was really, really impressed. No jokes, Nico. I thought this was next time we'll kill them. So here yeah, we go today. Drone one, same pilot on top. Better draw. I believe this was going to be a cracker today. Run, we run a cracker, followed by number four. That is Coastal Path, which has taken some good horses. And then by number three, stay the course. I also like the horse. And then number six, drop of time. First time in PA. Mm. Yes, so one, four, three, and six in race three. One, four, three, and six. You're confident about Modern Magician. Um, I... The drop down in trip, they've put the blinkers on today. So just note that the blinkers have gone on. Um, you, you might not pick it up, but it is a subtle change in the computer form. Um, last time you'll see H, which meant uh, compression mask. Today you'll see J. J means blinkers and a compression mask. So they've put the blinkers on Modern Magician today um, to sharpen it up for the, thousand, the drop in trip, I suspect, 1,000 meters. Um, interesting for me is Coastal Path had a, a merit rating that was as high as 88 and 86 when he ran against Kaya's Hope in those feature races um, in October last year. He's dropped down to a 76 today. Um, I think that the difference between the two isn't as big as the betting suggests. So that's my comment on it. Whilst Modern Magician may well win, I don't think that Coastal Path should be as big a price as 33 to 10. Right, let's yeah, let's go to race four, and that's what I said actually about uh, the other day um, uh, about uh, Charles Dickens and Jet Dark uh, MX. I was saying to uh, Lyle Cooper on Saturday morning, apart from saying that Al Mutana had a had a big uh, outside chance at fifty to one, I said to him that backing Charles Dickens at four and a half to ten and five to ten. And backing a place on Jet Dark, which was 33 to 10, for me, I'd be the places on Jet Dark more yes, than I'd be yes, the wins yes. on Charles Dickens because yes. you knew Jet Dark would run in the first three. And that, yes. for me, was the better of the race. Yeah, that, 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 that's a good point, Nico. That's all what, that, that's all what I, I always do when I'm taking my bets. When the favorite is right, then for me, I'll find the best place was in the race. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a tactic that uh, I think that punters need to be more accustomed to because they moan and groan when these odds on get beat. But the, yeah, reason, why, when the reason why bookmakers have been in existence for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years is because odds on favorites get beat and more yes. than they win. Yes, yes. Yes, Nico, that's true. That's well, true. not maybe more than they win, but the percentages when you're taking less than even money uh, more uh, win than get beat, but when you average it out, it turns out that it's in the bookmaker's favour. That's true, man. That's, yeah. true. That's true. Okay, let's go to race four, which is a tough race because this is a Phillies and Mare 63 handicap. It's not easy. I see the blinkers have come off Southwester and a compression mask goes on the eight. Uh, she's a kind of magic. What are your feelings here? It's wide open in terms of the betting. Yes, Nico, this is a, a very tough race, Nico. Uh, uh, but I met uh, the was the rest to be dominated by Alan Cliff, which is uh, I picked the number 10 to win the rest for catch, followed by number three, that is a quick count, then number one, Emil Spirit, and then uh, I will close with number two, baby is called outside. 
Okay, so you think it'll be an Alan Creef dominated race. You're liking bouquet number 10, uh, who's at four to one ahead of the stable companion. Quick count. You didn't mention the money horse Miss Rose, which is coming from eight to one to six to one. You don't like Miss Rose? It's a big jockey strike from the last time. Yes, yes, Nico. Uh, I think it's a good horse, but I don't think can win this in this race. Okay. I don't think so, Nico. So you prefer yeah, no. you bouquet is your top choice, eh? Okay, quick count, and then MS Spirit, and then Baby is called outside. Those three, those four, in my pick six are enough. We'll save to see about this Miss Rose or whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Okay. Just a quick comment uh, uh, on the MX is uh, still also very, very shy today because uh, yesterday in the Hollywood Bets Punters Challenge, uh, you tell me you got six out of eight. Uh, we had Alan B walking away with one and a half million rand because he got eight out of eight. You were close. I, I was close, Nico. I was close. And uh, when I look at it, uh, the horse that, that took me out, Iron Wheel, and Pray for Rain, I think they jumped as favorites. But when I took them, they were not favorites. And then they jumped as favorites, like mm. Pray for Rain, jumped as favorites. But yeah, for, as for Iron Wheel, Ran a very disappointing yeah, race. Yeah, better on the yeah. turf, maybe, than the poly. Yes, maybe, maybe, Nico, but that's what's racing. Yeah, you win, you win some, you lose some. Well, you got 75%, so, 75%. If you wrote an exam yesterday and you go back to matric or you go back to school and you get 75%, you, you, you pass yeah, with a distinction. Good. You know that. So that's very, yeah. very good. Look at it that way. Okay, let's go to race five. Race five is a merit rated 82 handicap. 1,200 metres, 20 past three is the off time. No changes in the fifth race. Um, tell us what you fancy here. Again, the betting's close. Okay, Nico. Naval, Naval Secret is my first choice in this race five, followed by number six, Brass Bell, and then number three, Life on Mars, and then number four, Al Kazim. Okay, so you're tipping Naval Secret. Uh, he's a very good horse on the poly track. Louis Nkotua yeah. right. He wrote a group one winner, uh, make it snappy on Saturday. So he'll be on a high today. So you're going for Naval Secret, 33 to 10, to beat him yes. this field. Brass Bell, Life on Mars, and El Kasim. There is yes. uh, one other I wanted to mention. It's the newcomer, number seven, Path of Choice. Um, he's never run on a poly track. He's never run in Kabecha. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how he goes. He's the dark horse in the race for me. Number seven, path of choice. Race six, 10 to four is a Phillies and Mayor 70 handicap over a mile. Uh, blinkers go on number two, double destiny and no cheek pieces on. Uh, in fact, that's not that race. That's the next race. So race six, there are no changes. Let's go to your selections here. Again, a tough contest. They're betting four to one, the favorite demigod, nine to two, Saint Anastasia. How did you see race six working out? Yes, Nico. Uh, when I look at it uh, last time, um, Smanga came back from the back to beat Saint Anastasia, to beat Anastasia on the line. Uh, he was carrying 57.5. Today is carrying 61. I think the, 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 the result will change this time around. Saint Anastasia, I'm picking Saint Anastasia as my first choice. Uh, Chess Mujang for Joannel. To beat uh them to beat number actually to beat number six silver slippers and yeah. um, with Mila. and then I'm going with number one Demi Court for third and then number nine Mrs Watline for fourth then I will also have to add on my pick six Nico number ten Opera Swing in case so actually in this race I've got five horses okay. five is my first choice six second choice one third choice nine fourth choice. And then 10 for a additional choice there. Okay, so there we go. Five numbers there to work around, to smash around in your bets in race six with the uh, MX signing with St. Anastasia, the same as that uh, Nino Podesta tipped last night to beat him Silver Slippers, where there's a smattering of support into eight to one. On we go to race seven now. That seventh race, I gave you those changes in the feature, the Allo Handicap. You can put blinkers on number two, Double Destiny, no cheek pieces for the four, Easy Living. Those are the changes. Yeah, a bit of money for Sherry for me from five to one at four to one. You've tipped the horse before, has to carry... Um, 60 kilos, joint top weight with double destiny. 
Uh, but they're betting four to one the field here. Yeah? Four to one double destiny, Sharif for me, nine to two pinnacle and chronicles of Narnia, and then five to one carbonado and eleven to two rainbow thief. Give us your thoughts on this race. Yeah, Nico, as for share for me, I, I'm not sure if the was left the poly track. Because if if I check the the form line for the poly track is very bad, Nico. Mm. So I'm not sure if it was good on poly track. Yeah, we have to give a chance and see what's gonna happen today. But uh, my first choice here was number five. That is Pineapple. Yeah. Was my first choice. Two. Yes, Nico. Number five was followed by number two, W Destiny. Then number six, that is a uh, Cabernado. And then number three, Rainbow Diff for fourth. Okay. So uh, you feeling that Gavin Smith might take this one with uh, Pinnacle. Uh, that is nine to two in the market. I see that when you, it did beat Carbonado two runs ago. And it's better off at the weights. Pinnacle are gone down two. Carbonano has gone down one. And it beat it by 1.6 lengths. I think you've got, you're onto something there. Pinnacle to beat, uh, which horse for second? Double Destiny. Double Destiny. Yeah, then Carbonado. And Carbonado. Yes, right. So you, you, you don't like the money or sherry for me. Nico, I, I have to to watch the racing today to see how does she for me performs because the reason I don't choose the horse because I I think the the poly form is not good for this horse. Uh so yeah. Okay. We have to see and Diego is writing it for the first time. So we'll see what's gonna happen. Okay. Let's move on to the eighth and last at five to five. A merit rated six jet handicap, 1300 meters. A tongue tie has gone number two, then in focus. That's the only change. These are the races that you're pretty good at. Again, if you go back to Friday's podcast with MX, he tipped the quartet. Your two roving bankers uh, ran second and fourth. You put in the winner. Thanks uh, to you and thanks to Nina. American Landing eventually won back on the turf. Uh, that's a nice uh, talking point that we've got between our team. Um, and uh, Tazetti, I think it was, uh, ran a nice race back and forth. That was the one that you were confident would run a good race. So well done on winning the quartet. What is uh, What are you basing the last race quartet on? What do you like here? Yes, Nico. In the last race, uh, my first choice would be number three. That is Dalin, Pumim Joker for Mackenzie. Second choice is going to be number one. Duke of Orange, JP for Smith, and then my third choice is number eight, Flinders Range, Ryan Manga with this man. Then my fourth choice would be number two, then in focus from Smith and in Okay. Then, uh, yes. Yes. And what else? Uh, I also add, I will also add number six, Admiral Chance there. So those are my top five. And as for my quartet, I'm roving those first two choices, number three and number one, by two eight six. Two eight six. You and can I can I urge you to try it and put in tuck tuck as well or not? Yeah, yeah, Nico. I, truly speaking, you are you 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 correct because I did it a tuck tuck and then I scratch it off. So. Yeah. yeah, I'd like and you I to re-add. It. I'd like you to re-add tuck tuck to run in the first four. So your rovers are three Delil and one Duke of Orange. Yes, yes. Then I will okay. add two, two seven, two six seven eight. Ne? as two. you ask me to add tuck tuck, I will add tuck tuck in there. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're riding a step up from a tuk-tuk. You're in an Uber, but uh, the tuk-tuk is a step down uh, if you're riding that uh, in the east. Okay, so how are we going to end off the day? We're going to end off the day with the MX telling us what his best bets are and what his value bets are for the day. Uh, give it to us before you say cheers to us and you go on your merry way. Yes, Nico, I've got a, uh, I only got a triple for today, which is race four, number 10, race six, number five, and then race eight, number three. So race four, number 10, bouquet. Then race, 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 race six, number five, Saint Anastasia. Number five, Saint Anastasia. And then race eight, number three, Dalil. Number three, Dalil. Okay, so in, in bookmaking terms, you can take a patent 
And what a patent yeah. is, it costs you four rand a bet. Yeah. It gives you yes. uh, one treble and three doubles, I think, is the bet there. So yeah. the bets yeah. are in race okay. four, bouquet, race six, uh, St. Anastasia, race eight, Dalil. Thanks very much. Yeah. I'll see you on Friday. I hope you've got uh, the map to take us to the breakfast place. Um, we're going not to the place we went last time, which had a beautiful view of the sea. But we're going to that other place just down the road from that. But remember, MX, yes. the jockeys are paying. The jockeys yes, will pay this time round. They will have to dig deep into their pockets. Shame. I feel so sorry for most of the jockeys. They don't earn enough. But they will dig deep into their pockets and they'll pay for you and me for breakfast on, on Friday. I'll make sure about that. Thank you. Thank you, Nico. Thank you. I will see tell, you them, tell them when you see them today what they're in for on Friday. Okay. I will tell them, Nico, definitely I'll let them know. Hopefully they're not going to run away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks so much, MX. Have a great day. We'll speak to you later. Thank you, Nico. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.